up team welcome to your run ready program what we're going to do today is like we did last time we're going to do a little warm-up on the ground and then we're going to rise up do some more dynamic stretching then we have plyos and then we're going to do a small strength block to make sure you're ready for your run okay first things first warm up so if you're going to go in a shin box position we're going to open up this leg this stays down as long as you can and then it comes true we're going to rotate hop and switch all the way and then we're going to repeat this for eight reps on the left eight on the right for the next one you go half kneeling position knee ear one line we're rotating the pelvis we're leaning forward and then we're going to lean towards the other side reach hold and repeat rotate forward and reach okay also eight left eight right then to make sure we're ready and activated in the lower body we're going to be in the same position we're going to go and lift the, the knee just one or two centimeters and then we're going to reach forward okay so if my, if my left leg is forward i'm reaching left boom up reach down recover eight left eight right then we're going to stand up I'm standing on one leg, I'm going to try to reach my pinky toe and then I'm going to stand up, figure four. Reaching down, standing up. Okay, try to make sure little toe, big toe and heel stay on the ground. A little bit of fight is always good. You'll also feel your calf working a little bit. Eight left, eight right. Then we're going to go in a wide stance position. You need to think that the ceiling is very low. And we're going to stay here, extending one leg, feeling the stretch here, boom, okay? If you want to do this like a karate, please. Okay, also A left, A right. And then, to increase some coordination in the brain as well, we're going to do a pillar march, okay? The goal is to get your neighbors, get them away. So you really need to drive in the ground with your front foot. Okay, boom, 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 boom. We're gonna go 10 left, 10 right, in place. The next one, you will move forward. Okay, from the side, boom, 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 boom. You need to really push that hard like you would explode up in the air. And then your last one is just to decelerate and get ready for the plyos. So we're gonna go nice and tall here. And then go boom down split squat position here knee shoulder ear one line so from here boom okay okay the next part are the plyos okay last week we did a jump a bounce and a hop we're gonna repeat this also trying to always initiate the movement when we're down. Okay, so first one is the same as what we did before, going down, squeeze your glutes and then boom, hop, land like this, okay, five reps and then two sets, okay, number two is the bound, last time we did hop, now we're going to rotate 90 degrees, that means we're going to stay low, hop, boom, land on the other, okay, staying low, squeezing everything, boom, hop, land and stabilize and if you need to put your foot down please that's fine okay three left three right two rounds okay last one is the hop staying on one leg same thing 90 degree jump okay so we're always going to jump inside inside of the foot means i'm going to jump this way so we're going to stay down 90 degrees boom hop stabilize okay from here, boom, up, stabilize. Also, three left, three right, two sets. Last part of the workout is a little bit of strength to finish. Even if we run, we need to get strong in our legs, in our calves, to make sure we don't get injured, okay? Exercise number one, a little bit different as what we done last week. So, always split squat position. I love this one. This is good for you. OK? 
Okay? When we're running, we're also always on one leg. That means we need to train that way. So, we're going to get up, and then we're going to lift here the heel as high as we can. Now, make sure you keep your big toe and little toe on the ground, and then put your ribs down a little bit. Okay? Make sure here, one line, and we're going to stay here for 35 seconds. The harder you get your heel up, the more your calf will also work. Okay? So 35 seconds left, 35 seconds right. The next one is also an isometric hold in the most functional angle during running, and that's this angle here. Okay? When we run, this is the angle where we're always going to be around. So, I'm gonna lay down, one leg, hold here, hold here, hold here, hold here. You can choose. We're going to lift the butt, get the ribs down, and we're gonna hold this position here. Right now, hamstrings are on fire, okay? So, this is easier, this is a little bit harder, okay? Also, 35 seconds. Try to get your pelvis rotated, okay? We don't want to be overextended, we want to be here nice and strong, ribs down, okay? And then the last one is your core exercise. We know core is super important, so we're going to, so we're going to do a bear crawl position, knees, hips, wrists, and shoulders. Here, and we're gonna move super slowly, reaching all the way, coming back, always switching left and right. We're also not, we're also running left leg, right leg, we're not running left leg, left leg, left leg. Okay, so always switch, and then keep your ribs down a little bit, slowly, and here we're gonna go for eight on the left, eight on the right. Try to get three rounds, and then you will be every week a little bit more ready to do a run, okay? Enjoy this weekend, and we'll see each other next week.